What's up, tech fans? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Eric, your host. We're here for some sword play with JJ from Azus, but that's not why we're really here. We're here to take a look at AI Suite 3 and four-way optimization on the latest Asus motherboard. So with that said, let's hop in and let's do us some videos. All right, so hey, JJ, before we actually jump into the video, let's talk a little bit about the test system that you brought along to do today's vid. Sure. Um, we've got an awesome system here to kind of let us showcase the four-way optimization technology which we're going to be showing you. Um, and as part of that, we've got, of course, a great set of cooling components and some overclockability here. So let's go ahead and break this down. So, of course, chassis-wise, we've got Bit Phoenix's Ghost chassis. So that's a great room enclosure. Gives us a lot of flexibility and cable management. Uh, for the water cooling configuration that's cooling our fourth generation core series processor, 4770K, we've got Coolance's Exos 2 755 fully integrated closed loop solution, and then we've got Coolance's uh, high performance water block solution, the 370, and they have a newer model of 380. For the fluid, it's a super special fluid that we're utilizing, it's Mayhem's Aurora Gold, uh, with a little bit of yellow dye in there to just give it that much more luster. Awesome pearlescence kind of uh, fluid that we have here. In terms of the motherboard, we've got the Z87 Deluxe. Um, as far as the GPU, we've got our brand new GTX 670 Direct CU Mini graphics card. Powering the entire thing in terms of a power supply, we have Seasonic's 860 XP 80 Plus Platinum PSU. Uh, for Kingston, we've gone ahead and tapped their high performance HyperX Beast memory, 2133, four DIMMs. And then for the SSD side of the fence, we've also got Kingston's HyperX 120 gigabyte 3K SSDs, uh, two in a RAID 0. And rounding it out in terms of our storage for our ODD is we have one of our BC or combo Blu-ray drives. So that pretty much represents everything that we have. And it's also gonna give us a great example of what a high performance system is gonna be able to do in terms of overclocking when we go ahead and initialize our four-way optimization technology. Right on. All right, so with that said, let's transition over and let's actually check out the screen. All right, folks, so we're in the Windows environment, and JJ's now going to show us the AI Suite 3 set of software applications. Right, Doc? Uh, for you guys that have been following us for a long time, you guys are very familiar with AI Suite as a whole. Um, we had our first generation AI Suite, and then we had AI Suite 2, and now we have AI Suite 3. So AI Suite is actually our fully encompassing system utility, which uh, covers everything from power management to fan control functionality to over, uh, overclocking uh, functionality and power management adjustment. So uh, that, along with, of course, our complementary features like USB 3 Boost, USB Charger Plus, our network eye control, all that is integrated into this. So you can see right off the bat now, we, they, we've we brought up the actual uh, it's, got a whole, it's got a whole new screen. Correct, whole we brought up GUI. AI Suite 3, and the GUI's been entirely revamped and redesigned, so it has a much more kind of modern, kind of overlay feel. You know, it looks like a heads-up display. Um, you know, it's very sharp, clean, modern looking. It looks and, gaming. Uh, it, 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 it maybe has a little bit of a gaming vibe, but definitely has a, a technological a vibe to it. Um, and so our team worked very hard in giving you a great a great kind of GUI to be able to not only see your information, be able to work through. So at the bottom here, we have a persistent level of information that's presented. So we have CPU frequency, we have DRAM frequency. We can go ahead and expand on that. We can show all our CPU utilization real time. We have, of course, all our corresponding voltages, our temperature information, and our fan speeds. Now, one thing I do want to go ahead and note is sometimes people wonder why they sometimes might see a difference between our fan speeds and then the fan speed, excuse me, uh, the CPU temperature information that's reported by our program, as well as the CPU information that might be reported by a third party program. And this is because we actually have our own way that we create um, the temperature that's reported. We have a thermosistor, so actual a mechanism to read temperature built into the CPU socket. And we then take temperature information that's fed by the CPU and we adjust that for what's called the TCAS. The TCAS is the plating that's on top of the CPU die. And then we provide you an approximated offset or an average of that temperature. It's much more realistic than the actual temperature that's reported just from what's called the DTS sensors uh, that are inside the CPU. And the reason why this is- It's internal. Um, well, it's, it's more representative of your ambient configuration, but the DTS sensors that are inside the CPU are actually not designed for 100% accurate uh, monitoring of temperature. They're actually built in there for the measurement of throttle. Like, so, so basically if your CPU is getting too hot, it knows to slam back a little bit so it doesn't burn correct. itself out or it, shut down. Correct. correct. Um, as well as to take advantage of Intel's turbo technology so it kind of knows when to ramp up and when to ramp down because part of that measurement system is based on temperature. Um, so this is an important distinction because a lot of sometimes people perceive that it's always going to be 100% accurate and that's not necessarily correct. So this is why we have our temperature reported in one way. But of course, you can feel free to monitor it in multiple ways. 
Um, from there, of course, we have a configuration parameter where you can go in and make adjustments to all the corresponding sensor values in terms of uh, points where you want it to alert you. If